Hi, I'm Tom Jones, and welcome to another free art lesson. I want to take a moment and show you how you can create some sun rays in a particular scene. Let me give you a little background to start with. You'll notice here I have somewhat of a misty sky or cloud area going on up at the top. And then I've put in a mountain area here, and you can see the top edge of the mountain and how the mountain comes down on a vertical plane like so. And I deliberately left this area in the sky light. So when I painted my sky area, I deliberately left this area white, as I just said. And then I put in the mountain where the mountain goes into the mist area up here at the cloud area and then comes down into a dry area. This was all dry in this area. And I have a nice sharp edge here. So what I want to do is I want to create some sun rays for you. We were just recently in Sedona, Arizona, painting in the mountains and the canyons, and we saw these scenes frequently out there where the clouds move in, the clouds move out, and then all of a sudden the sun will shine through, and all of a sudden it will break the edge of that mountain. Let me show you how we do that. I've got a three-quarter inch flat brush that I'm going to use, and I've got some tissues. So what I want to do is I want to show you an easy way to create sun rays. Now what I would suggest to you is you start at the top, at the edge of the mountain and just drag your brush down. Remember, the brush is wet, okay? So I'm going to take now with just tissue, it's just water on my brush, and look how it's already starting to pick up the color. See how you can start creating the look of sun rays? Let's try it again. Don't make them all the same thickness. Have some thin, some thicker. Again, pat it with your tissue and just drag the color down. Let's do a few more of these so you can see it. Another tissue, pat the area, then come in and just drag that brush down. Let's take a moment, do a couple of more in here, just a couple of more, not a lot. Let's have one come off at a different angle over here. Pat it, take your tissue, rub in the same direction as the sun ray. Now what I would suggest to you in this particular area up here is just take and wet this area, take another tissue, just wet the area that at the edge of that mountain area, take a little bit of the tissue and just sort of soften that just a little bit in that area. Let me do just a little bit more. Just want to soften right at the edge. Just to soften that so where the sun is hitting at the edge there, that edge disappears. Let's drag this down just a little bit more here. And all of a sudden, you've got these wonderful sun rays. Now let's make this just a little thicker in a couple of areas on this side. Again, pat the area. Drag that down. See, here's a simple way of creating the illusion of sun rays. So remember, start with, if you will, start with this misty sky area, leaving this area light in here. Then put in your mountain area, have it bleed into this part of the sky area, and then have a nice hard edge with the light sky behind it. And then just drag that down with water on your brush, like so. Take your tissue and then pat it. Then come back and rub in the same direction and lift off that color. This is a very simple way of doing some sun rays. I hope you've enjoyed this exercise, and I want to remind you that we're at the Art of the Carolinas here in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is a special event that is done each year by Jerry's Artorama. We have artists from around the world teaching workshops here. We have students from around the world taking those workshops. In addition to that, we have a big trade show with wonderful pricing on all the art supplies you could ever find. And then, in addition to that, we're just having a lot of fun. This is our 10th anniversary, as I'd mentioned before, and we're having a lot of fun. We hope that you'll join us next year. Come see the trade show. Come and sign up for the workshops. You'll have a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me.